centripetal force, which is the opposite of the force we studied yesterday, which was <laughs> centrifugal force. I thought I'd give you a little demonstration. Taiwan, you come up here and help me, please? Taiwan. Hey, yo, what up, son? Go on, see what your daddy want. Hey, here you go. Brace the handlebars behind your knees. Get that wheel going at about 180 RPM. Hey, yo, what's up with this? Come on, brother. Put some muscle into it. Come on. Brother. Yo, man, I told you it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a nigga riding a bike, shit ain't even going nowhere. Bear with me, bear with me. You'll see. Harder. All right. Harder. Yo, come on, P. You get played. Okay, now tilt the wheel to your right. Right. All right. Ah. Hey, yo, Augie, check me out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what? Ah.
is right now, Garfield? What is it? Open it. Jeez. I don't suppose this kid cares about our budget crisis. Have the textbook room charging for the book. That says 187, Walter. That's the police code for homicide. Christ's sake, I know what it stands for. Look, the kid probably heard it in a rap song. It doesn't mean anything. That book belongs to Dennis Broadway, Walter. He's a known gangster. Garfield, if I had a dollar for every time a student threatened faculty... Did you tell Dennis Broadway he was getting a fail from me? I have legal access to those files. He's a transfer from Nixon, didn't he? If he gets through the semester without a fail, he gets to go back to Nixon. So he blew his opportunity. Now he has to learn to live with the consequences. I don't think he wants to live with the consequences, Walter. I think this kid wants me dead. <sighs> Relax. This has nothing to do with you. I should have been told, Walter. You know what your problem is? On the one hand, you think someone is trying to kill you. And on the other hand, you actually believe kids are paying attention in your classes.
take the role, I'd like to make a point. Barfy. What up, Barfy? <laughs> it's not important who or what Barfy is. The point I'd like to make is anyone here can be a scientist. What's he talking about? A scientist is like a detective. He investigates data he doesn't understand by scratching the surface so he can see what's underneath. like this. No, no, watch. What did Liz Klimp? Oh, where's your teacher key that chalk? In the desk. I'm late. I had to handle something. You a sub? For Miss Eskander, science. Eskander? Well, this is Dave Childress, American history. <laughs> I don't know how to break it to you, uh, Mr. Garfield. This is Bungalow 84. You want Bungalow 86. <laughs> That's your fault. You must have zagged when you should have zigged. Somebody jacked the number off my door. I keep asking Garcia to fix it, but all I get is nada. Eskander, come here. She just mess over here. Huh? That's Eskander. Parenting at home at 
it's computerized, so it cries and shit. Mr. G. Hey, G, you know what that means when I'm back on the means gangster, I say. You a gangster, maestro? No. No, I'm not a gangster. Would you do me a favor and please go out there and pick up those books? Child like the man, I ain't picking that shit up. You will pick it up. What's your name? What is your name? Cesar Chavez. <laughs> Why don't you recognize me? <laughs> hey, Jay, see this? See, I'm already on house arrest, Holmes. There's nothing more you can do to me. Straight up, dog. I'm out of here. Excuse me, could you have a seat, please? <laughs> guys. Mr. G, those guys that just walked out aren't even in here this period. And this fool's name is Benny Chacon. Shut your mouth, hood rat. Schoolgirl bitch. That's enough, Benny. You ain't no real teacher, fool. You're nothing but a sub, is that? Why do you wear that rosary, Benny? To put God on me, okay? So why don't you go sit down and read your newspaper? Wanna be motherfucker? Are you done? Just give me a referral and shut up. Future reference. Anyone who disrupts a class subject to disciplinary action. This classroom is our sanctuary. Yours and mine. Respect it. And for your information, I am a real teacher. Whatever you say, Opie. Help me pick up those books. sister. Hey, Garfield. How goes the battle? Did you, uh, get your binky Marsden Barfy? <laughs> oh, you want some advice? The first one of these homeboys that gives you the slightest bit of shit. You march his ass down to Larry Highland. He's their counselor. Right off the bat, you got to sacrifice one of them. Show him some balls. Let him know his boss. And don't look to the administration for support because they haven't been in the classrooms in the last 10 years. They don't know shit. And look at me. I got tenure. And I'm still out in the damn bungalows. I should be in the A building, one of them nice air conditioned rooms. You met Garcia yet? Our principal? Hey, Dave. Oh. Ellen Henry, computer science. Trevor Garfield. Hmm. Nice scar you got there. Do you have a sub here before? No, first time. What about permanent? 
seven years in the bed section of Brooklyn, Roosevelt Whitney High. Roosevelt Whitney? Roosevelt Whitney, isn't that where that teacher got stabbed to death last year? Actually, he survived. No, 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 I mean, it was on 60 Minutes. There was a teacher, this gangbanger, had a ten-penny nail, stabbed him about a dozen times in a hallway. It was... I'm giving advice to a guy with a purple heart. Excuse me. Oh, man. Hey, listen to me. In my book, you're a fucking hero, man. Damn straight. Look, you know, getting stabbed doesn't make me a hero. What'd they do to the kid? Put him in a facility upstate until he's 21. That's it. You should have caned him. You should have caned the little bastard. You know, like they did that kid in Singapore. You remember that? The president of Singapore had a few choice words. When a continuing state of defiance and disorder cannot be checked by the rules, then new and sometimes drastic rules must be forged to maintain order. The alternative is anarchy. So why do you still teach? Well, the same reason that you do, Carfield, for the paycheck. central nervous system and the lymphatic system. Hey, Mr. G, you got a nice butt. <laughs> Since you seem to know so much about anatomy, Ms. Uh, Martinez, the central nervous system and the lymphatic system, tell me the difference. Um, it was like the, um, the central nervous system is your, um, your brain and your spinal cord. And the, um, the lymphatic system is the, the stuff in, in your blood that fights diseases. That's right. School girl. Man, that bitch is cheating. She don't know nothing. Are you writing on your desk, Mr. Sanchez? I don't see nothing in my hands, do you? KOS have something to do with your friend Benny? Don't go there, sir. KOS stand for capping off suckers who give out referrals. Don't be disrespecting my homeboy Benny. I don't like it. And he don't like you. Yeah, well, do me a favor. Go up to the counter and get a paper towel and wipe your desk off. <laughs> and what's your name? Me? Stevie Littleton. Well, you do me a favor, Mr. Littleton, to turn that tagger shirt inside out. What's this? Well, um, well, Highland Sales, okay. Later, Leva. It was, uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Don't pay no attention. They're just trying to fuck with you, Mr. G. I mean, play with you. Sorry I said you had a nice ass. Apology accepted. But I know schoolgirl. Yeah, heaven forbid I think that.
Nice man. Sure. Oh, I'm making time a reward instead of a distraction. I, I don't know why I jumped up the way I did at lunch. It's just weird. It's all right. For what it's worth, Dave Childress thinks that you walk on water. <laughs> Is that a good thing? I think it takes a lot of courage to go back into a classroom after something like that happens. Not if the only thing you ever wanted to do was teach. Ah, you see, there's our predicament. I assume you've met Benny Chacon. Yes, I have. Last week, Benny and his tagging crew had Ms. Eskinder pinned in the corner over there. She's seven months pregnant. So she kicks him. And if the district construes it as an assault and battery on a student, she's gone. They do that? Mm-hmm. She's non-tenured. Wouldn't be surprised if she files for stress leave by the end of the week. It's too bad. She was a good teacher. Can I ask you a personal question? When you were attacked, was it a random thing, or did you know the boy who did it? No, I knew him. I flunked him. Can you see something like that coming? Kid tells you he wants to kill you, you best believe him. He was an OT, an opportunity transfer, but nobody told me that until it was too late. Do you know that Benny's an OT? Last year, he was convicted of felony assault and suspended twice. I even testified against him as a character witness. And now I get to see him every morning in my home. Put him in your home? <laughs> Condition of his probation is that he stay in school. Did you talk to the principal? Many times. This kid is threatening me, and all Garcia cares about is a lawsuit. What did Benny say to you? That he hurt me. Real bad. Someone's been calling my house every night and hanging out. A couple weeks ago, they broke into my car. And on Friday, I think someone was in my house, but I can't prove it. I don't know what to do. You can quit. You didn't.
time for this shit. Oh my god. You think this is funny? I don't call my PO in 15 minutes, I'm fucked. Hey Benny, come on, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, Benny, come on, man. Let's go. Come on, Paco, let's step. Orantes, yeah. Andrew Blackwell, Yo. Benny Chacon, Benny Chacon. Benny's not here. I think he went AWOL, Mr. G. Hey, Leonard Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you ever get lonely? Yeah, sometimes. There's this passage in uh, God's Lonely Man by Thomas Wolfe where he says, the whole conviction of my life rests upon the belief that loneliness is the central and inevitable fact of human existence. That's really depressing, Trevor. Oh, it's just my New York upbringing. It's not so easy looking on the bright side these days. Well, I guess you would feel that way after spending a year going in and out of hospitals. No, 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 that wasn't that tough. The robbery, that's what's the hardest for me to get over. What would they steal? My passion, the spark, my unguarded self. I miss them. I want them back. Well, if you ask me, they're still there. I think everyone else has given up. They're so beaten down. But you're different. You refuse to be beaten. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Where are you going? Got something for you. <laughs> Did you know that Cesar Sanchez is special ed? No. Yep, he's SED. Severely emotionally disturbed. That's great. Um... I wanted you to have this. Trevor. Oh, it's, it's oh God! 
Can I get you something? Yeah, get the uh, bacon soda out of the kitchen, would you? Sure. Uh, where in the kitchen? Um, the fridge. Sorry. It's all right, it's all right. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Just when I was getting to be a salsa king, too, huh? <laughs> oh! You know, uh, you know what you need? You need something to liven up your house. It flowers. Thanks. You're welcome. Since some of you seem to be so interested in pharmaceuticals, I thought I'd prepare a little demonstration for you. Freedom, would you bring your friend in the cage up here, please? Uh, his uh, name is Snowball. Like that little pig dude from Animal Farm. You read Animal Farm? Schoolgirl. Shut up, Cesar. You read Animal Farm, Cesar? No. Nah. But I fucked the sheep once. That's just sick. That's just sick. Says, I come up here. I want you to have a front row seat for this. Lose the look, Says. Why are your eyes so red? Yeah, I know it was up late studying all night, Mr. G. Yeah, right. It's a nice watch, eh? Can I have it? Sit down. I want you to read Young's Rule, page 564, top of the page. I ain't reading that shit. Rita, give Cesar your book so he can read. Nah, forget it. I ain't reading that shit. Stupid, true. stupid bitch. I'll just read it, man. Settle down. Settle down. 
It's all right, Cesar. You'll get another chance. I have in this brown bottle a prescription for liquid Demerol. Where'd you get that from, sir? This came out of my private stash, dearie. Demerol is a morphine sulfate. It's soluble in water. Young's rule says... Divide the age of the patient by the patient's age plus 12. Thus giving you the correct fraction of the adult dosage suitable for the patient. In Snowball's case, I calculated the dosage for a one-year-old child. You should be awake in about... Case, huh? <laughs> All right, everyone who didn't answer the questions on page 264, please do so tonight. Say right, something. Hold it. So where's my watch? I ain't got no watch. I gotta yeah. go. Well, come here. Empty your pocket. Come in! Let me put it to you like this. I gotta get your bus, right? Hey. Hey. I have to see Highland before he leaves. Oh, it's but almost... I've been meaning to come see you. Oh, it's almost been a week. You must be avoiding me. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh... been like this since you, you you know since my accident but it has nothing to do with you i gotta go can you do me a favor when you're finished with highland could you give me a ride to my car it's at the mechanics it's just it's five or six blocks off lancashire i mean if you can it's okay i can uh, no no i can manage that thanks this one the base three has found him hey Garcia would like to see you in his office. Mr. Garfield, thanks for coming in. Sorry we have to meet under such circumstances. If you don't mind if we tape record our conversation, matter of record, you understand? You, uh, you know Mr. Highland, right? Your teacher's union rep? Am I being questioned? Well, Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Littleton tell me you've accused them of stealing your watch. And if that's the case, uh, I need to uh, address the accusation. Beginning of sixth period, Cesar admired my watch. I believe his exact words were, can I have it? Bottom line is, I'd like my watch back. Anything else? I asked him to empty his pockets and he refused. Is that true, Mr. Sanchez? No way. He never asked me nothing like that. I don't go around taxing teachers. I don't got no damn watch. Okay, calm down. Empty your pockets now, please. Mr. Littleton, may we see what's in your pockets, too, please? I'd like a locket search. Good. I could use the money. I'll sue your ass. You're excused, gentlemen. Take your things, please. Thank you very much. You don't have time, do you? It's 3.22, Mr. Sanchez. 3.22, thanks. Mr. Garfield, let me try and explain something. I work very hard to try and think of our students here at John Quincy Adams as my clients. Larry, we can't have another lawsuit like we had on that Blackwell case. That one cost the district a quarter of a million dollars. 
So I need you to be straight with me, Mr. Garfield. Did you physically see Cesar take your watch? No, I didn't. Gentlemen, unless we have reasonable cause to show Cesar or Mr. Littleton took your watch, I can't authorize a locker search. I'm sorry. That was my grandfather's watch. Can't you see what they're doing? Weren't you ever a teacher? I'm afraid I never had the privilege. Teaching and being a principal don't necessarily go hand in hand, Mr. Garfield. Well, that's beside the point. Have a good day. So why didn't you say something? Hey, the asshole's a politician. He's got every angle covered. Well, I'm thinking of videotaping my classes. Yeah? Well, you want some free advice? Cover your ass. Garcia asked, the camera's main purpose is to observe you, not the students. I mean his clients. Some gangbanger might think we're violating his civil rights. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Iris, completely forgot. Right. Trevor, you got a minute? I want to talk to you about the discipline committee. I got to make a run up to the office real quick. Go ahead, I Sometime, I think you'd really like it. It's only like um, an hour by air or five or six by car, but it has a totally different attitude in L.A. The only problem is, is that I hate to leave Jack with my mother for any extended period of time because I'm afraid that, well, she'll forget to feed him and he'll starve to death. So anyway, San Francisco. It's, you know, it's more like a real city like Chicago or New York. Or Baghdad. Or Mars. I'll take care of Jack for you while you go. I 
glad you come here. Look, we can meet in the library, all right? Somebody might see us. I'll come to your house. <sighs> no way. Okay, Rita. You pick a place. You want something to drink? I got Coke, Sprite, juice. Yeah, um, coal is all right. You know, Rita, you're not the only one whose reputation's on the line here. I don't normally tutor students at my house. Since you're here, maybe you can clear something up for me. This whole machismo code of honor thing. I mean, come on. Is pride really worth dying for? <laughs> um, let's put your clothes on, Rita. someone from the office call your mother. I thought you knew. Us poor Mexicans, we don't got phones. Yes. 
Sánchez. Uh -huh. Soy el señor Garfield, de profesor de ciencia de sexo. Ay, sí, André. Sí, que es tarde. Ojalá que no esté. What the hell are you doing here, Garfield? Huh? I didn't say you'd come up in my house. Look, Cesar. I came back here to see if we could squash all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we'll I say you ain't got no motherfucking right. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Why don't we try to start over? Hey, <laughs> see?
about software now. Yeah, well, software sales. So, how's Jack? Jack's good. And how's Trevor? Has Trevor been behaving himself? What? What's that supposed to mean? Is that supposed to mean something? No, it's not supposed to mean anything. Jeez. Thank you. 